I was just talking with my friends about what an amazing scene this is. To imagine 10 years ago, this was the heart of the war zone. There were bullets flying, children here had no future. And we contrast it with the children walking behind us who are enjoying a lovely, sunny, peaceful day, music, happy people in the streets. They have a chance at an education. It's a remarkable transformation, and that is what I'm thinking of as I'm walking along the street. It's, it's incredible to think of that change. For joining the World Vision, for joining the different organization on this day. This year, for the first time in four years, the awards committee agreed unanimously on the winner. It is my honor today to join all of you in congratulating Archbishop John Baptist Odama as this year's chosen recipient of the 2012 World Vision International Peace Prize. The nomination, the process, has set the ground under which this place is strategic position. When His Grace, His Grace is walking forward to receive this award, the International Peace Award. His Grace has received his award, the International Peace Award, as the winner for the 2012. The purpose of the World Vision International Peace Prize is to recognize peace builders who have been working in the shadows for a long time. Rather than recognizing star figures on the international scene, our prize celebrates the efforts of peace builders working in northern Uganda, for example, where their efforts are not widely known or recognized in the media. The most important thing to remember about peace is that it's not simply the absence of conflict. We tend to think of it that way. But peace is actually the presence of justice, of well-being, of harmony, of inclusion. In fact, the way that World Vision defines it, it's much broader than simply no shooting in the streets, or no people fighting, or no people disagreeing. It's much bigger and grander than that. In fact, we have even a theological vision for peace that is human flourishing. The biblical word is shalom, and it means the abundance of good things, not simply the absence of violence. My wish for peace building work around the world is that it would be recognized for the impact and effectiveness that it has had. Too often we see peace building initiatives that are starved of resources, starved of the attention they need to really flourish. The international community does need to be patient with peace work. It takes some time to work. But it's much more effective than the alternatives that we try, only if we reduce our expectations for immediate overnight results. It's the kind of thing that you have to apply yourself over the long term. 